if for any reason you don't want to do it alone, that is absolutely fine. Riding in the big group could be a great fun as well. In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 very useful tips how to be the person everybody likes and enjoy the trip at the same time. Stay with me. Welcome back in the channel guys, I appreciate the time you're spending here and I really hope that this information will help you to take the right decisions. As you know, I've never been a fan of riding of the big group, but there are always some exceptions. Everything actually depends from you and your expectations. For example, if you expect everyone to listen to you because you're a great rider, or the other way around, you need help all the time because you know nothing, in both cases it's going to be a huge disappointment. Without compromises from both sides, it is not going to work. Before I start with the tips, I will bore you with another one from my personal stories. In my last trip to South Asia, in Bangladesh actually, I've got the chance to ride with a big group, 7 people actually. It was something new for me because I never done it before. As you know, usually I ride with uh, another one person, 2-3 people maximum or alone. So this was the first time when I have to ride with so many people for a long period of time. I don't mean for a couple of hours to go around the city or something like that. No, a real trip. We were 7 people, rode together, talked together, ate together, shared the same room every single night. And guess what? I really enjoyed it. These guys were awesome. They actually opened my eyes how one big group supposed to behave. I want to use this video as an opportunity to say a huge thank you to AB Estiak, Mesbach, Rohit, Hero, MD Valley and Mamun. You're great. Thank you very much. The difference between their group and the groups I've been before is that they've got this clear structure. They've got one leader, a person who is responsible for logistic, the roads where you need to go and we everybody follow him. They have another one person like accountant who is responsible for money. This was something new for me, I really enjoyed. So what we do actually every day we or every couple of days we give him money, a certain amount of money and he paying all of our bills. I mean hotels, restaurants and coffees and whatever we stop and every time when we need something new he going and negotiated the prices for us and everything. So our responsibility, our own responsibility was only the petrol. One of the guys was make sure that we're gonna see all the attractions on the road, uh, another was take care about camera gear, batteries and everything. Uh, one guy was even my Bollywood man, my entertainment man, I really love this guy. And the last one was in charge with all of social contacts around the, around the trip. So everything was organized so well, actually they worked like a one small or not small, even big company. They actually gave me the idea of my first tip, find your place in the group. If you ride motorcycles from a while, you will know what you can and what you cannot do. Use your powerful sights to improve the mileage, to support the, the trip or whatever you can do for the rest of the riders. I just gave you an example of so many different positions you can take. Tip number two, learn how to make compromises. This is something very important and you have to find the right way to overcome it. You're not the sun and the universe is not going around you. You're a human and as everybody else, you can make a mistake. No one is perfect. You can suggest something like new road or some new plan, but do not insist. Listen what the rest of the riders might say and take the decisions all together. Tip number three, be ready to travel alone. Hmm. I should have started with this, but it's never too late. Anyway, you have to predict this before the trip. You have to be ready, you have to be set and organized to be able to complete the trip alone if something goes wrong. You should have a plan, the whole strategy actually, how to continue the trip if you don't like the group. You don't need to make this in the last moment because if you try to do it, it's going to be even worse than the original plan. The detailed video on how to travel alone, you can watch here. Tip number four, do not be arrogant. You're the same human being as everybody else. It doesn't matter what you're thinking at the moment. You have a head, eyes, ears, two hands and two legs. You're exactly the same. If you're an experienced rider, this is great. Use your experience and your knowledge to help those who are needed. Be like father, not like big brother. I'm sure you know what I mean. Sorry, bro. Uh, it is nothing personal, it was set with an educational purpose. Tip number five, do not try to imitate. If you ever find yourself in the situation which is beyond your riding skills, do not try to imitate. I will repeat, do not imitate. This is not going to finish well 
and it's not going to help to the rest of the riders. Ride in your own peace. If they are good, they will wait you. If they don't wait you, use the option number 3 and travel alone. Tip number 6. Be on time. Learn how to wake up and finish with your morning procedures fast. Learn how to load and unload your motorcycle as quick as possible. Don't be the person that everybody needs to wait. If you know that you cannot go without your early morning toilet 40 minutes, please wake up 40 minutes earlier and don't push everybody to wait you after that. Tip number 7. Don't talk too much. If you love your voice and you believe that you're a great person, I will still suggest to avoid the long speeches until you start your political career. It is good to be part of every conversation, but it's not good to be the only person who speak. You have to be part of the group and talk with the group, not to be the voice of the group. Tip number 8. Accept your position. This is something so important, but most of the people cannot get it. That's why the confrontations are happens. For example, you have a leader in the group, but you don't really like it, and the group decided that you're going to be an accountant, but you want to be a leader, and you start this all the time, this uh, confrontation with the leader, try to prove everyone that you're better. No, 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 this is not the right way. You might suggest something, a new, new uh, road or, or new plan or something else, but do it gently. You can use some of the tips I just suggest. Make it polite and let the group decide who is going to be the leader. Tip number 9. Socialize with the group. This is a bit tricky job, not so easy, but I will try to explain. You have to socialize with the group, not with your telephone. Yeah, it is understandable. When we stop later in the evening, you have to make some phone calls to see uh, your family to to know that everything is alright, you can check your emails, but not to convert the whole night or the whole time just by clicking your telephone. So I will use here one example, which one I saw from a, a famous motivational speaker, Simon Hayek, and he said that uh, if I talk with you now and holding my telephone all the time or clicking here and even so I make this conversation, are you believing that you're the most important part in our conversation? No, that's why just finish with your telephone, leave it somewhere and start to make a real conversation face to face, talk with people, talk to each other. I know that this will be very, very hard, especially for young people, but this is the situation. You have to socialize with people and the only way to do it is by talk to them and watch them in the eyes. And tip number 10, focus on the important part. By saying this, I mean that you have to focus on the important part and ignore anything else. It is almost guaranteed that when many people are riding together, spending the time together, there will be some problems. Try to ignore it, try to avoid it. Do not even think about it. Believe or not, they will just disappear. If not, use option number 3 and go and travel alone. As usual guys, thank you very much for spending time in my channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Check also my Instagram account, Motorcycle Adventures, where I upload daily pictures from around the world. Always ride safe and see you next time. Ciao!